right uh, my name is samantha here so we are starting another classes class for ict class for grade 8 uh, G, uh, all level uh, grade 8 uh, local syllabus right so today uh, we are going to start a kind of a revision um, uh, topics where we have already uh, went through but because of the part uh, the term test so we are going to uh, re recap the things what we have done already yeah so i think uh, everybody can see my board right let me open the textbook right so uh, you know the first chapter uh, we have talk about the number system right uh yeah you know number system we uh, we have done uh, number system right so we have done number system uh what uh, what do you mean by the uh, binary number system ronalia Ronalia, can you hear me? Binary uh, numbers are type of a number system uh, that goes to 0 to 1 and it bases to. Hi, sir. Can you hear me?
Hi, can you hear me now? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Great. Cindy, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. You can see the board. Can you see the board? Yes, sir. Right. All right. So uh, what we have done uh, last few weeks, so uh, from the from in this first chapter, we have done the binary number system. So binary number system, you are aware that uh, binary number system, right? We have base two, right? So that is the binary number system, right? In uh, apart from the binary number system, we have done decimal number system, right? Decimal number system, as we already know, we know the base is what? 10, right? So I said that binary number system having only two values. What are the values? What are the two values in binary number system? Zero and one. Zero and one. Yes, zero and one. So those are the two values. For example, I will say like this. We'll put a value some uh, eight bit. We say eight bit value. Like this, we say one, 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 right? There are eight bit values. So normally, uh, binary number system start from power here, uh, right to left. Right. So here, two to the power zero, first number. Second number, two to the power one. Third number two to the power two, fourth number two to the power three, fifth number two to the power four, right? Sixth number two to the power uh, five, seventh number two to the power six, eight number two to the power seven. So this is the value, right? If you uh, break up into actual number uh, actual, separate like this i think you are aware of these things right because we have done some calculations as well today also we are going to do some calculations so we know every every value if you multiply by zero power zero is that means one right that's value is one Answer is one. Two to the power one means two. Two to the power two means four. Two to the power three means eight. Two to the power four means sixteen. Two to the power five means thirty-two. Two to the power six means sixty-four. Two to the power seven means one hundred and twenty-eight. So those are the values. So you should remember these values. The power and the respective value of that particular power. Right. So without knowing these things, you can't do the calculations. You should know these things. You should know two to the power zero is one, two to the power one is two, two to the power two is four, two to the power three is eight, two to the power four is sixteen, two to the power five is thirty-two, 
2 to the power 6 means 64, 2 to the power 7 means 128. So you should by heart these things. Without by hearting, you can't do the calculations. Right? Right. So now, now we say this value all are one. Right? This is binary format. Now we are we just calculate this value, this binary value into the decimal value. We are converting binary into the decimal. How we are going to do? So we just want to add these things, right? You see, everyone, every character, every number is one. No? That means this one here to the power one is two plus. 4 plus, 8 plus, 16 plus, 32 plus, 64 plus, 128 plus. So if you multi, if you uh, add these all values, you will get what is the amount? What would be the amount? If you add all these, what do you think? What will be the amount? Can you do the calculation? What is the amount after you add in all these? I think you are good at additions. The question again. See, uh, you have to listen. I can't, you know, repeatedly uh, saying question, right? You have to concentrate, right? If you can't hear, you have to very first time you have, you, you can say, okay, sir, we can't hear. So what I am asked, what I was asked here, what is the total amount if you add these values? 128 plus 64 plus. So these things you have to do, right? Not me. I am doing this for recapping, right? 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, 255? Yes, 255. 255. Yes, that's the, that's the decimal value. Correct. That means, in other words, this binary value 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, base of 2, this is base, equal to Decimal 255, base is 10, but we are not putting like the base. It's uncommon to, you know, put the base 10. Normally, if you see, if you calculate some or oh, whatever the, um, you, in, in your mathematics, right, you do some addition, subtraction, we say something like that. These all values are decimal, but you never put like this. Base 10, no. It's originally everybody agree that this is base, base 10, base is 10. But other than the decimal numbers, binary number, octal number, octal means we have eight digits. Hexadecimal number, 16 digit. Binary means two digits, right? Apart from the decimal number, all other number systems, binary, octal, and hexadecimal, they are put in the base. Every time they are mentioned in the base, 16. 
here too, 8, 60. But in the decimal number, we never put like this base because we originally know that if you are not putting the base value, that means it's a decimal number, right? All right. So I will tell, I will get another calculations, right? Right, we'll take some value. I will get another value to understand before I am going to come to some other calculations. All right, just to recap, how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight numbers. So this is base of two. Now, again, you can look at, now I am going to convert this binary number, binary number 1010101101. So this is the binary number. I am going to convert into the decimal number and get the value. So here we say 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 6, and 2 to the power 7. These are the power of values. Right. Now I am going to, I am straight away put the extract value. Here 2 to the power 0 is we know 1. So 1 into 1 is 1. Addition. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 into 0, 0. We don't want to add because if, if, if the value is 0, that means it's, it's false. The meaning is 0 is false, right? Or we can ignore, in other words, right? Ignore. Or we can say off. So if if you get in any value, if you get in a value, a binary, if you get in a zero under any binary value, zero means it's false. We are not going to do anything. We are not going to do anything. We don't do calculations. We don't do calculate. We just ignore it because this is false. This is ignoring. This is false symbol. This is ignoring symbol or this is off signal. That's the idea about the zero. When in, in between the binary numbers, if you are getting zero, we are not going to do anything. When you, when you want to convert it, we don't want to do anything. We just ignore it. Right. Here, then, 2 to the power 2 is, we know 2 to the power 2 is 4. 4 uh, is 1. That means true. 1 means, in other words, opposite of false. It is true. That means we do, we do calculation here. True or what? On. Right? We are not ignoring. If, if you get the 1 in any binary value, you do some calculation. Remember that. Very easy. Okay. We come to here again. Here 2 to the power 2 is 4. Here 1. That means 4 into 1, 4. We are going to add that value. Right? 4. Right. 2 to the power 3 is 8. 8 into 1, 8. We do calculation. 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 into 0. Ah, 16 into 0, we ignore because its value is 0. We are not putting anything. 2 to the power 5 is 32. 32 into 1, 32. 2 to the power 6 means 64. 64 into 0, again ignore 0. 2 to the power 7 is 128. 1. 
128. Okay. Now we are adding 128 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. 128 plus 32 is 160, 168, uh, 172, 173. Okay, one I got two, it. 173. Yes, 173. So this is the value of this binary number. Base 10. This is base. So this is how you are going to convert in binary numbers into decimal numbers. Okay. Now, can you do these numbers and I, I want to, I want you to do now and give me the answer. I, I give only two. Binary to decimal law? Yeah, whatever we have done just now. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to convert this to binary to decimal. What we have done, uh, Cindy? Binary. No, what we have done now? Which conversion we have done now? Binary to decimal. Yes, same thing. Okay. Okay, so one first one is one 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 zero zero one, right? Base is this is base, right? This is base is two as normal way. So this is second one one zero one 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 zero. This is base is this base is two. Can you do it? I will give only five minutes, right? Now nine uh, seven thirty eight seven forty two will finish it. Start. I think you two are clear on these things, right? Any, any, anything before you do? Anything you need to ask? Hello? Any doubt? No, sir. Great. All right. Keep on doing. Finish.
Finish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. All right, what is the answer for first one? 57, base 10. My one too. Same answer, Ronalia? Yeah. Okay, how about this one? 190. Yeah. 119, 90. 90. Yeah. Oh, oh. Right. Here, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5. Here, 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1 uh, 32 plus 16 48 48 uh, 56 57 right this is correct good how about this one uh, this is 128 plus uh, 32 160 uh, 168 uh, 4, 2, 168. Then 128, 32, 1, 180, 184, 6, 190. Great. That's fine. All right. So next we will move to uh, converting decimal number into binary number right so this is also we do some calculations right nice i'll i'll give i'll take one what we do we divide it no we say 170 decimal, we are going to convert into binary. So we have to divide by 2, no? Right. Here, 17, how many 2s? We have 7, 8, right? 16, 1, uh, 10, 5. Remaining 0, right? Again, we are dividing into how many twos for eight? Four. How many twos for five? Two. Four, then remaining one. Right. Here, how many four? How many twos for four? Twenty-one. Two. Yeah, twenty-one. Remaining zero. We have to every time we have to put a remaining. Here, ten remaining one. Because two into uh, ten, twenty remaining one. Here, five remaining zero. Here, two remaining one. Here, one remaining zero. Remember, we have to put the remainder, right? How many twos for two? One remaining zero. Okay, we start from here, from this position. One, zero, one, one, zero, one zero one zero one zero one zero nice one zero one zero one zero one zero power two so this is the binary version of 170 decimal version right so so this is how you have to calculate i think you are aware of these things 
okay now if you want to exactly know this is right we can again go back and reverse do the reverse we say the reverse engineering how do it how do you know whether it is correct or not so we can have option called reverse engineering we will do the reverse engineering here 10 10 10 10 10 no worries so 10 10 10 10 10 right here if you go with the binary numbers we can get the decimal here as uh, 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 4 5 6 and 7 these are not cal not calculated we can ignore these values okay here 128 because 2 to the power 7 is 128 into 1 here 2 to the power 5 32 here 2 to the power 3 8 here 2 to the power 1 1 Right, 128 plus 32, 160 plus 9, 169. Our value is wrong. What make wrong? Did you notice that? What's the value we got? You are not with me. You are not concentrating. What's the value we got earlier? What to convert? What we have done? Decimal to binary. Yes, what's the value of decimal we got? Zero one zero one zero one zero. No, not like you forgot, no? What we have divided? What's the value we have divided? One ninety. Forgot, no? One seventy. Yeah, I think 170. 180. <laughs> no, it's all right. So we will divide again. We will say 170. Here, 70. Correct, 170. Yes, 170 here, 8. Right, 16, 1 remaining here, 5. Right. Here, Remaining is zero, right? Here, 42 remaining one now. Here, 21 remaining one. Here, 10 remaining one. Here, right. Just check whether it is correct, right? Here, zero. One. One remaining zero. One zero one zero one 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 zero. I think earlier we have done mistake. You didn't notice that. Yes, sir. Yes, we have done mistake. So earlier earlier value we came, we got one zero one zero one zero one zero. That's what it comes. I think 169 or something after do reverse engineering. So that's that's the important of the reverse injury, whether we can check whether actually we are getting we are we are getting correct values. Here 170 decimal value we are converting to the binary. So this is the binary value. 1010111010. Now we are do we will do again reverse engineering. So if you do reverse engineering, this 170 should come again. Here 128, 
30 uh, this is igno this is 32 this is igno this is 8 this is 4 this is 2 128 plus 32 160 168 uh 160 168 174 no where's the this also wrong how this come any any idea the correct is one zero one zero one zero one zero i think One zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Where's the wrong place? Forty, uh, eighty-five, eighty-five. Uh, okay, uh, forty-two. Right, we'll remain in one. Then again, again. Ah, uh, here, this is zero. Here, ah, uh, this earlier one is correct. No, then. One zero. Yes, one, sir. One zero, one zero. Yeah, earlier also we got this. Yeah. I think then there is a uh, the addition addition mistake we have done here. One two eighty eight plus thirty two. Yes, now it's correct. Here one twenty eight. Here 32, then 8, uh, 32, 16, 8. 128 plus 32, 160 plus 168. Here 2, 170. Yes, correct. I think earlier we have done this part correctly, but when you do the calculation, you know, the value has been sap. All right. That's the, that's the issue we got. All right. So now it's okay. So 170, then that means 170 decimal equal to binary 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, base 2. Okay, we will do another value. We'll say, uh, we'll got like this. We'll say, uh, we'll say 225, something like that. Okay. Uh, we are dividing into by two, right? You just concentrate. I am calculating. If I make mistake, please let me know. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is this correct? Yes, My sir. This is correct. Very good. Right. Now we'll do reverse engineering whether it is correct or not. So this is 2 to the power 8. This is 2 to the power 7. Sorry, two, I make a mistake. This is uh, 2 to the power 7. That means this is 2 to the power 7 means 1 to 28. 1 to 28 plus 64. This is 64. Here, 32. This is 
128 plus 64, uh, 190. 190 plus 32, 224, right? And one, here one. Okay, my calculation this time is perfectly correct, 225. Here 225 is coming. That means this, this one is correct. That means 111000001. That means 225 decimal convert, you can say 111000001. This is the base 2. This is base 10. Are you okay with these calculations? I think you are. Right? Okay, I will do two, uh, I will again give two calculations, converting decimal to binary. 199 you have to convert into binary and other one is 241 binary right sir yeah ronald i have a personal class now sorry ronald i have a personal class now what does it mean? Ronalia has another class now. Uh huh. No, it doesn't matter. So, because why I'm recording this now? Right? So, she can left. So, you don't have a class now, Cindy? No, sir. Okay, you stay. So we will do this calculation. Another, I think we have another uh, 15 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. We will finish this. Uh, anyway, I have recorded this session. Uh, Ronalia can see this video after uh, when, when she is free. Okay, right. Cynthia. Uh, can you do this within four minutes? Is it possible? Okay, sir. Okay, do it now. Hi, Ronalia. Hi, sir. Yeah. Ronalia, we have given two calculations, uh, 199 and 241. You are going to convert this into binary.
Finish. Finish? Yes, sir. Great. What's the uh, what is the answer for this? Uh, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, one. I got the same answer. Great. What about this one? Uh, one, 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 zero, 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 one. Yeah, I got the same. Oh, okay, I think you two are perfectly correct. We'll check again. Uh, here, I'll just, you know, quickly do this. Uh, here, 128 uh, plus 64, 190. 190. Uh, here, 7, uh, 196. Mm. 128.64. Ah, sorry, 192. Yes, 192. Then 7, 199. Perfectly correct. How about this one? Uh, this is straight away. I know this. This is 240. 241. Great. I am very happy about you two guys. You have done these calculation very well, right? So I don't, so I, I don't have any doubt on this now. So you are well aware of these things, and I just want to recap uh, these uh, binary conversions and all. Very easy, right? We having to do the hexadecimal after. No, in, in your syllabus it won't. Possible, I told they are at this in grade eight, right? It will come uh, like grade nine and other, right? Ah, okay. All right. All right, so we will go through this as well. Uh, this is uh, very critical. Uh, uh, we need to, uh, we will start the chapter two revision as well. So this is, we are going to configure, we are going to discuss configuring and formatting the computer. You know, formatting the computer means what formatting? Formatting means we are going to erase. We are going to erase our hard disk. You know hard disk, right? Magnetic hard disk. We say magnetic hard disk. Any other hard disk you know? We have hard disk in our computer. One is magnetic hard disk. So magnetic hard disk is uh, familiar hard disk earlier laptops we have this magnetic hard but at the moment nowadays uh, magnetic hard disk also available but there are another type of hard disk what's that hard disk name who knows that we have discussed these things we have discussed these things not only this, uh, we have discussed even grade seven. <laughs> I remember, but you forgot. 
What are the other hard disk? Can't you remember SSD? What do you mean by SSD? Solid state disk. Ah, when? So that is the answer. Solid state disk. Who said that? Cindy, right? Yeah. Good. So this is the latest hard disk. Right? Nowadays, latest laptop, we have SSD. Because this is very thin chip model hard disk the circuit ic model hard disk very thin hard disk not like uh, earlier laptop hard disk like uh, you know like uh, uh, some uh, what hard disk big biscuit not like that now this is small now this a solid state disk like a, you know like a vapors biscuit you know vapors <laughs> small very thin yes biscuit. yeah Sometimes these hard disks, uh, not uh, some some laptop, the half of the vapor biscuit size, very small. But we have big capacity, 512 gigabyte, one terabyte gigabyte, 256 gigabyte, but very thin hard disk. That is called solid state disk. All right, great. So. I said that the what you formatting means. In other words, we are deleting or we are erasing all the data which is reside in the magnetic disk or SSD, whatever the hard disk, and we are going to again reinstall, reinstall the operating system. If you formatting means nothing is there after formatting all data is all data erase that's what we before we do formatting we have to get the backups we have to get the backups right without taking the backup we don't do formatting assuming that your same laptop having an operating system issue what you have to do now you have you have to do we say you have to do uh, you have to re, uh, reinstall the operating system but in your hard disk we say you have a 5 to 8 gigabyte of hard disk you have like four 400 gigabyte data is there so what will happen if you format in ronalia if you format this hard disk what will happen this 400 data, what will happen to this data if you are going to format your computer? Data erased? Yes, data erased. Data will be lost because formatting means we are clearing up all the data, right? After formatting, you can't see anything. That's what I am, I am telling you. Before you do formatting, before you do erase anything from the computer, you have to take the backup to external hard disk or the, to the pen drive or thumb drive, whatever the external disk. After you confirm that my backup is already there, then you can go ahead and, you know, do the formatting stuff, right? So these are the key points you should know. Right? Right, great. So there are another meaning for formatting. That is for formatting hard disk and node. Here, normally in the application, in the operating, see, this is like this. The format I will I will I will demo I will show exactly what is the what is what is about two meaning of this formatting. Formatting hardware. If you talk about the formatting hardware means you are you are talking about erasing. Oh, you are you are talking about the deleting. Oh, you are going to, uh, you know, clear all the data. That's the idea about when you, when it comes to the hardware devices like pen drive, hard disk, 
whatever the storage media if you are going to format in means so clearing deleting erasing so some that kind of idea but same word formatting formatting the application that is kind of a software base formatting the document the base so here formatting means you are going to change the appearance remember the difference change appearance change the style change the look and feel right so you are going to change the data appeared to the audience or to the client or you are going to make some changes that is called formatting formatting in terms of the application formatting in terms of the whatever the document where it could be a word document it could be a powerpoint document it could be a excel document whatever so that is a different meaning of formatting right the formatting tools means what now in a photoshop we have formatting tools we can put colors we can erase colors we can underline bold italic those are formatting features that means you are going to new look and feel to the your document that is another meaning of formatting but other way the in in terms of the hardware devices the formatting means you are deleting you are uh, you are erasing you are clearing your data from that particular device i think you are very clear in these two difference of the same word is that so did you understand what i said yes sir all right all right so today we will wind up from this uh, moment right i think we have started the second chapter uh, revision as well right so we will talk about other we have next i think uh, we have discussed uh, by next week we have classes on 26th and 27th please keep in mind that don't put some additional in other classes on this time so we we will have a class on 7 pm to 8 pm as normal way normal time monday and next monday and next tuesday please uh, you know book your time right book your calendar uh, 7 pm to 8 pm all right so we will wind up the class ronalia and uh, sindhi so thank you for joining today class so i will be uh, anyway i have recorded this session so whatever uh, i will be uh, uploading this uh, video to youtube channel if anyone want to look at this video again you can you know access that one right so are we good yes yes sir great great okay then have a have a good weekend Enjoy. Take care.